In the 1940s, Forbes started a Forbes Investors Advisory Institute, an investment advice service dedicated to providing expertise to professionals in the consultancy sector. This led to the dominance of the magazine as a trusted source of some of the most influential business icons of our time. And today, on Forbes Africa, we celebrate one such individual, Mr. Benga Ayabode. As one of the most brilliant coveted legal minds, Oyobode is considered as a legal powerhouse who sits at the cross between the law and business. Oyobode has been the managing partner of Aluko and Oyobode, a top-tier full-service law firm providing world-class legal services to local and international clients with over 70 lawyers and up to 150 members working out of the offices in Nigeria commercial centers Lagos, Abuja and Port Harcourt. As a leading force in the world of business, he served in the executive management capacities for leading companies like Nestle, Access Bank, MTN Nigeria, and Gulf Oil Company in Lagos and Houston. Success for me is really uh, about achieving the goals that you've set for yourself. It's really about uh, being the best uh, that you can be uh, in your chosen career, whether it be uh, being the best lawyer that you can be, uh, running the biggest law firm that you can have. Uh, it's really about uh, uh, self uh, and about contentment, uh, but really to crystallize it, it's being the best that you can be in whatever that you do. The legacy for me is about achievement. Uh, it's about not just achievement uh, where you stand uh, uh, alone uh, by yourself. It's about achievement in a leadership role where the people around me uh, uh, are also part of the success story. Uh, and so for me, it's uh, those little things, uh, making sure that uh, I surround myself with the best and the brightest, making sure that the best and the brightest contribute uh, to the common good, uh, making sure that we give back to society and to community, uh, making sure that we are able to mentor uh, and, and to show good example to, to people that, come, uh, that are coming behind us. Uh, if we are able to achieve that, uh, then I would actually think that there was a legacy worth uh, uh, leaving behind. <laughs> My life has been essentially about uh, pushing the envelope. Uh, it's about uh, dreaming big, thinking big, um, never giving up, uh, tripping and falling and picking yourself up and, go, uh, and moving along. So my advice to millennials would be, hey, um, look, think about uh, what you want your life to be, think about the end goal, uh, but um, at each point, uh, they're building blocks towards the end goal. Uh, uh, don't give up, uh, giving up is easy, but rarely it's about the hard work that you put behind the effort. Uh, and so I think millennials have a great opportunity. Uh, some of us, when we were growing up, didn't have these opportunities. I think that life's gotten um, not necessarily easier, but it's gotten a bit more um, you know, uh, consistent in the way, uh, the things that you can uh, achieve and your ability to achieve them. So uh, I think for me, the millennials need to just understand that they need to stay the course, uh, they need to dream big, they need to think big, uh, but they need to also work extremely hard. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, the love of what you are doing or learning to do. And those are the traits that Forbes Africa celebrates. And Bengai Obode is a testament to this. A leader and one of the people changing Africa. Have an enjoyable read.